Well, and this is a, a gala event. It is time for the picks. The pontiff, the baron of big games, uh, the, 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 the legend. We have a celebrity guest picker. Ooh. Oh, that's right. He's fully engorged and ready for a good time. Let's go to the picks. Moment everybody waits for every week. Those are the picks. Oh my God, I just picked a team with no offensive line. Who is the celebrity guest picker? I went to Oklahoma City <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> God help me, game five. Oh, I do it right. Ah, uh, yeah. Clear emotional pick for sure. Honesty seems to have gotten me in trouble over the years here. You want to talk about intrigue? You want to talk about excitement? Those are the picks. Oh, man. Let's get it on. By the way, I was 8-2 and two last week, and that includes getting screwed by the Redskins and Chiefs outcome. Oh, you got boned big time on that one, Michael. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go big to, games! Let's lead it off. Penn State laying 13 and a half. Sorry, I assumed the Penn State-Michigan game was a night game. As they take on Northwestern, we start with Hatchet. Hatchet Just man. three words. Saquon, Saquon, Saquon. Penn State. Let's go. That sounds like six words, but you're right. I it is connected. About the Penn State, yes. Now we go to the whitest man in America, Wojo. Hi there. Big game. Uh, Saquon Barkley has been great, but you know who he's played against? Nobody, 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 and nobody. Northwestern defense is pretty good. Wildcats cover that spread. Over to the man Woo! whose shirt is held on by Velcro for easy access tonight. <laughs> well, do you remember your former partner that you worked with, Jamie Samuelson? Oh, the big-headed kid, sure. I'm going to pick this game for him, and I'm going to give him a go-cats. <laughs> go-cats. Go-cats. Um, go-cats. It's going to underdo- gonna be an underdog weekend for me. I happen mm. to agree with Wojo and Ooh, Sully. I yeah, think baby. Northwestern is a bit of a trap game for Penn State. Mm. I think Northwestern with the points, they'll be in the mix. Game number two, You really turned me on. Thank you. Stanford <laughs> minus three. They travel to Utah. Fun note. Sully was in Kyle Whittingham's office. Once. Don't steal my pick. Come on. Okay, we go to David. Know me too well. Utah's 4 0, but Stanford has Bryce Love and a black coach, David Shaw. Let's go, Stanford. That's worth at least three points. Over to Wojo. The Hatchet Man says, hey, hey. covered is fine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> love me some Bryce Love. He has 1,088 yes. yards in five games. Yes. I am taking Stanford to cover that puny spread. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sucker. Mm-hmm. Over to Sully. And as Whoa. Mike mentioned, I once took a recruiting visit to Utah. Did you really? And I'm going to pick Utah because of that. Great, great area. Did you take Block Byler with you or anything? Tom- Whatever that guy's, guy's <laughs> no, name he, was. No, he didn't get recruited by anybody, no. Uh, Stanford, oh, third kid. tough road game in four weeks. Might be starting KJ or KC Costello, a redshirt freshman at QB for the first time. Whittingham, interesting, 2-0 and against David Shaw as well. I'm going to take the Utes. Dogs are barking, man. Mm. Game number three. And, and I, Oh, Tommy Durkin, I'll pay somebody to watch this crap. Yeah. LSU and Florida. Florida minus two and a half. This game's a proverbial fart noise. Go ahead, David. You deserve a great sex life. Thanks, Steve Stryker. You said it. These two teams suck, so any mini mighty mo catch a tiger with a gator. Let's go, Florida. Whoa. Over to Wojo's kidney stone. Yeah, oh, God. He'll speak all later. Um, <laughs> I told you. I told you. The Gators haven't lost since Michigan to, took it to them. Surprise. But you know what? Ed Orgeron coaching for his life. Give me the Bayou Bengals, LSU. Over to Sully. How about this stat for you, Mike? Go ahead. LSU is 0-4 in their last four games on natural grass. So I'm going to pick Florida in this one. Mm. I refuse to select Florida. I think they stink. (laughs) Wojo's right, but they got lucky against Tennessee, lucky against Kentucky. I just, I can't stand Florida. Felipe Franks. I'm just, I'm going to take Coach O. I can't even understand what the man says. (laughs) This is a really (laughs) thickly built guy. Alabama laying 26 and a half. They go down to take on the 12th man in A&M. We go to Hatchet, who actually looks like a young Kevin Sumlin. Okay, Stevie, here's your stuff, buddy. Bama has a lot of thickly big guys, so I'm going with Bama. Second dick. All right, over to Woj. Only way the Aggies hang in this game is if they're actually allowed to play 12 men on defense, which they're not. Alabama to cover the spread. Second deck. Over to Sully. I don't know if you guys know, I have a golden rule in these picks. I never never bet against Nick Saban. Never pick against Alabama. Never pick against the Patriots either. I got to pick Alabama. Mm -hmm. Fun note, Mm -hmm. if A&M didn't blow that Titanic lead in the opener, they'd be undefeated. They're kind of sleeping. I think the spread is just way too big. You're going to give me 26 and a half. I'm going to take the Aggies to hang around a little bit. 
Game number five. Oh, You're the, a reveling. Oh, thanks, Riggs. The excitement. MSU getting 10. Oh, that spread's going down. <laughs> at Ann Arbor, we go to Hatchet. Yeah, I just changed my pick. I looked at the weather forecast. It's going to be real Ooh. bad oh, tomorrow no. night. I'm going Michigan State. Oh. oh. Well, over to Wojo. I don't know what to, to say. say. You know, right, he uh, takes Michigan over no, to Sully. Uh, wait, I was speaking to Jimmy earlier today, <laughs> and he thinks Donnie Brown's going to unleash all sorts of exotic blitzes on Brian Lewerke. Michigan to cover. Barely. Stunner. Barely. I know Michigan's 0-5 against the spread in their, uh, last, in their last five games after a bye week. Don't I play well after bye weeks. I love Ann Arbor. And I'll be there tomorrow. I can't wait. Will you be sitting on John Jansen's lap? I will not be. Probably not, at least. Um, <laughs> that at first. I'm envisioning a 24-13, 27-13 type game. Mm. I think Michigan's going to barely cover. Give me Michigan. To hell with both of you. I'm taking state. I've said it all oh, week. Boy. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What's the worst that happens? I'm wrong. I think they're a live underdog. I don't think your O-line's any good. I don't think O'Korn's the second coming of Elvis Gerbach. And I think we'll hang around. I'll take the points. To hell with Baltius. Let's go to the NFL, please. I don't know what the f*** that means. Steve. Oh, my. I love the taste of pure vodka in the morning. All right. Chiefs lay in one. They travel to Deshaun Watson. Oddly enough, that's Hatchet's nephew. Well, no. It's my godson. Uh, I thought that was Mike Weber. It- well, he's also my godson. Oh my. He played Who amazing. He, he had he played amazing last week, but they're going against Elvis Gerbox, former team, the Chiefs. Chiefs win. That game's are cool. Ooh, I couldn't even follow that. Alex Smith has completed 76% of his passes, mm-hmm. so we'll carve up Houston right. Negatory, Robert Ory. Texans defense rises up. Give me Houston. Over to Sully. That's life. That's what all the people say. All right, here we go. Chiefs 13 and 3 against the spread in their last 16 road games. Absolutely mm. dominant on the road in terms of the spread. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Spread looks too good to be true. Therefore, I'm going to go with the Texans mm. on this. I can't fight it anymore. Mm. Chiefs are due to lay a little bit of an egg. Yep. That Texan D should limit Kareem Hunt. I'll take the Texans. Well, that surprised you? Thanks, Coach Cal. Game number two, Jags going to the Steelers. Yeah, they still let the Jags play when you lose to the Jets. Steelers lay in eight. We go to Mike, Mike Tomlin's doppelganger. A direct message to Pittsburgh. Big Ben, shut up and stop being everybody's parent. A, B, B, U. Ooh. Steelers win some. Crap! Starts to come wow. and he pulls out. Over to Woj. Much like Sully, I have major rules in betting. Never bet against Blake Bortles. <laughs> Jesus. And, and that Jacksonville defense is actually okay. Give me the Jaguars to cover the spread. Over to Sully. Octo box. Jaguars 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five road games. Ooh. Playing well on the road. I'm going to pick Jacksonville. Mm. Last week, I took the Jets to beat the Jags. We'll go the up-down theory here. I think the spread's too big. I yep. think the Jags off. I mean, Bortles can't play as bad as he played last week. I'll take the Jaguars with the points. Mm. Game number three. Hackers at Cowboys. Sully's hatred for Dak Prescott, legendary. Cowboys lay in two. We go to Hatchet. If for no other reason but to shut Sully up about oh. Dak, I need Dak to show up and be black. Let's go, Dallas. <laughs> the Hatchet Man says, hey, colored is fine. Um, wow. Over to Woj. Got to go back to being black every now and then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what? The Packers have no running game right now. No running backs. Cowboys in a bu- up-down game bounce back and smush the Packers. He starts to come, and then he pulls oh, out. Here's, here's, oh, here's where you're wrong, David. Dak Prescott is not any good. I'm going to go mm. against you. I'm picking the white quarterback in this game, <laughs> not picking the black quarterback. Yes! I'm picking Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Yes, he did it! <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Oh, my God. Why just for here? you, David. Just for you. Cowboys don't look right. The O-line doesn't look right. Zeke Elliott does not look like he's in game shape. He looks heavy. He looks slow. Packers of all these injury. I'm going to go with Green Bay here. I, I just, I, I, it's a mistake. I know it is, but I'm going to go with Green Bay. It's a mistake. Game number four. This shouldn't even be televised. And if you watch it, you're a loser. <laughs> Chargers at the G Men. Both these teams are hoes. Giants laying three and a half. We go to David. Battle of the winless teams. These teams blow. 
Giants. But the Chargers are traveling to the East. That never bodes well. Let's go, Giants. David, you always dance to this song, though. You have to dance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, thought you, to, I came in here uh, to see you dance. Over to Woe, Joe. No. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry. Your dream for the G-Men to go 0-16 dies on Sunday. Six the more Giants inches. Giants win the game by more than six inches. Cover the spread. We go to Sully. Mike, I want to cheer you up here. Chargers. I was in San Diego last year. Well, they, Yes, but the San Diego Chargers don't exist anymore. Oh, you're right. Chargers oh, <laughs> Chargers 1-10 in 10 against the spread in their last 11 games. Oh, my God. Terrible. So I'm going to pick the Giants here. Are those are real numbers. Yep. Oh. Look, we could still get the number one pick and win a couple games, right? Uh, you sure? Yeah. Give me just, Phil just, Rivers. Just Give me Phil Rivers and that big boot filled with all his kids. What has he got? <laughs> ten of them? I think ten, yeah. Give me, give me the, the bolts. Game number five. It's the game of the week. This is Woo! exciting stuff. Panthers and Lions. Lions laying two and a half. We go to David. I haven't done this all year, so this might not bode well for you Lions fans, but I'm picking the Lions in this game. Oh, my. That's it, man. I, I feel bad saying this. The football gods might strike me dead, but I do believe the Lions are due for a letdown. Cam Newton's oh. getting the legs moving. And in the postgame, Jennifer Hammond will ask Cam Newton the first question. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that. Can't say that. Give me the Panthers. Sorry. I knew Wojo would make a Cam Newton. Sorry. 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 I, I, no, I want to see Ham Sorry. ask him. Guys, Lions have been playing very well. I'm just going to roll with Detroit here. I didn't pick them last week. I'm picking them this week. Give me the Lions. I picked them every week this year. I don't care. To hell with it. It's worked out pretty good for me. Down the field. I can't stand this team, but they're actually pretty good. What do you want me to do? I'll when, take the Lions. When does David dance? You promise. <laughs> he always does. I don't know why know. he didn't today. Those are the picks. I'm not yelling. I'll do that tomorrow night. 97-1.